How'd you sleep? Not. <laughs> Looking forward to rigging a line and falling asleep right next to it. Rock camp. <laughs> we went to Moab first from Fort Collins, Colorado, and then drove from there here. Oh my gosh, so, so you're only on day three? We're, day we're on day two. Day two? Holy Morning number two. Holy crap. use established routes so that's generally a good sign for where we need to go trying to find a, a high line spot is sometimes pretty frustrating you know the elements need to be perfect uh, you need a nice safe s setup no abrasion you want a nice durable anchor that can resist a lot of force it can sometimes get very upsetting very frustrating trying to find these spots. We spent over 12 hours looking for a spot, wandering through the desert, climbing up boulders, sliding down rocks. Uh, and it definitely wasn't that there was a lack of areas to place high lines. Um, it, was, it was more of more of a quest for what we felt the perfect high line for us at the time was. What did you make for us here? Oh, this is uh, some vegetarian breakfast sausage and some eggs on top of some uh, blue corn chips. And this is last night's leftover 505 chili, queso, and uh, beans. That's really good. Get your coffee. Really Got good. Coffee. Got the bag. Full belly. High lines picked out, ready to rig, ready to go. It's not insane white cap mountains or insane canyons, but these incredible cactus like Joshua trees with these amazing boulder structures, a highliners playground. He hunts and he gathers. As the sport of slacklining is evolving and growing, this image that the sport is promoting is very important that it's in a positive manner. The same problems climbing uh, was facing. You know, is it okay that these bolt routes are going up? The, the constant controversy between sport climbing and traditional gear climbing. Ringing all natural is just an amazing, pure, clean, great way for the sport to promote itself. <laughs> First send of the day.
trigger's heavy this time unwind it's a pretty amazing experience to just even go highlining um, pretty much with anybody just just because of the feelings um, that they express it's you know, it's it's an amazing experience to watch and partake in, um, as well as you know, get out there and do yourself. But you know, it's it's fun and scary and um, exhilarating all at once to even just walk one foot out there. You know, even just to watch somebody else walk um, is an amazing thing. High learning has become a way of life for me. I dream of being on the high line. I daydream being on the high line. I take every step as if I'm on the slack line, looking at what's in front of me, breathing, and feeling myself. And that's what the high line is to me. Slacklining is a pretty good metaphor for life. Um, you definitely have uh, an unlimited amount of steps that you can potentially take. And the way you get from point A to point B is kind of up to you. Um, whether you choose to do it with no falls or whether you choose to do it with falling every other step, it's kind of what you choose and how you hold everything in balance that's going to dictate your transition there. <laughs>